Hello everyone. My name is Shatadal Das. Welcome to another educational video and the topic is Dightline Protection Zones and Protection Systems. You must have already watched my first video on basics of surge protection where I touched upon the lightning protection zones in a context of the kind of over voltages experienced in the electrical systems and the source of those over voltages. Today we will go further into detail on that subject by discussing how the overcurrent and over voltage are controlled with different kind of protection system and equipments. The picture shown over here is providing a broad level understanding of where the lightning protection zones are placed. The outermost zone, which is open to atmosphere, is lightning protection zone 0. This zone is directly influenced by atmospheric lightning. The zone 0 is considered as two areas, 0A and 0B, based on the level of exposure to lightning electromagnetic pulse. Mostly, the communication antenna and power lines come in the zone 0, which needs protection from direct lightning strike. Then comes zone 1 where the effect of the lightning electromagnetic pulse is attenuated by the protection system given at the zone boundary. Mostly the power distribution equipment and communication lines fall in this zone. Then comes lightning protection zone 2 which is further protected against lightning electromagnetic pulse compared to zone 1. Here in this zone, very sensitive low voltage or digital equipments are placed as guided in IC62305-4, there can be further higher zones depending on the protection, but this is not discussed in this video. Before we go further and understand the lightning protection zones, I want to explain an important extract from IC62305-4. In the IEC, some examples have been given how the protection of power cables and communication cables can be done. When cable enters from a lower zone to a higher zone, two recommendations are given. One, to use an SPD at the point of entry. Two, to use a screened connection to ground any induced EMF and eliminate the risk. A major part of the surge current gets diverted to the ground by such protection systems. There is another aspect stated in IC62305-4 for protecting higher zones, which is the special shielding, which is nothing but the enclosure which acts as a barrier or a shield for protecting the equipment contained within the zone. Here, the enclosure of lightning protection zone 1 is providing a special protection to the inner zones. We will now go into the details of each lightning protection zones starting with zone 0. Any object that is influenced by direct lightning strike falls in the lightning protection zone 0, A. Such objects can be a tall building, a tree, a transmission line, a tower or even a human being anything that is physically taller compared to the neighboring entities. On the screen, the area shown as white spaces are the unprotected zone from direct lightning and its effects like electromagnetic pulse and lightning current. The tall structures in the unprotected area attract the direct lightning strike. The unprotected areas which are directly affected by lightning strike form the lightning protection zone 0A. The protection in zone 0A is achieved by lightning rods for tall buildings and towers. In case of transmission tower, shielding wires are used for protection. After the lightning is hit in the zone 0A, a majority of the transient current gets grounded. Some residual effect can be seen in the same system or in the neighboring system. In the same system, the effects can be back flash over due to the high earthing resistance and the effects in the neighboring system can be EMF getting induced due to the mutual coupling effect. 
in either case a voltage spike gets induced in the system and can cause insulation damage in whichever system it is experienced the areas which are shown in gray shade are the protected areas the tall structures which attract direct lightning strike form a shielded area which protects the entities within the gray area from a direct lightning strike although the protection is from direct lightning strike but not from its other effects like emp and induced lightning current the areas which are not directly affected by lightning strike form the lightning protection zone 0b in such situation the protection in the lightning protection zone 0b is achieved by putting a non linear resistor based lightning arrestor lightning protection zone 1 are those areas which are within the zone 0b and is protected by a physical structure like an enclosure or a building the lightning protection zone 0b are affected by the induced voltage of the direct lightning strike or due to switching surges within the system when the switch gear are operated by the protection relays upon sensing a line to ground fault which can be because of the insulator flash over the power lines or communication lines which enter from lightning protection zone 0 to lightning protection zone 1 are the potential sources of these interferences entering to the system so experts suggest to put a non linear resistor based surge arrestor or surge protection device at the point of entry to divert any over voltage into earth it is also highly recommended and now a common practice of using screened cables to shield the cable from any induced over voltage and with proper earthing divert it to the ground the lightning protection zone 2 is an area that is electromagnetically shielded from all other zones the equipment within this area are very sensitive low voltage equipments which are usually communication decoder equipment or digital equipments which are highly sensitive to any spike in the voltage the power or communication line which travels from zone 1 to zone 2 are the potential sources of the voltage spike any induced over voltage or residual over voltage from zone 1 thus gets transferred to lightning protection zone 2 for lightning protection zone 2 the protection is taken care either by non linear resistor based surge protection device or by gdt based surge protection device finally the summary of the video in lightning protection zone 0a the protection is required against lightning current which is achieved by lightning rods in lightning protection zone 0b the protection is required against induced lightning current and induced lightning voltage which is achieved by non linear resistor based lightning arrestor just a special note here the lightning rod is not to be confused with lightning arrestor these are two different products with different purpose and unique abilities in lightning protection zone 1 the protection is required against induced lightning voltage and switching voltage which is offered by non linear resistor based surge arrestor or surge protection device in lightning protection zone 2 the protection is required against induced lightning voltage and switching voltage of although a comparatively lower magnitude but those voltage spikes are higher voltage considering the system which is being protected here the protection is offered by non linear resistor based surge protection device or gdt based surge protection device i hope this video was informative please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you